Hi everyone, this is Shirley from Shirley's World and I'm just going to do a uh, kind of a late broadcast because I had a chance to stop at a Goodwill I don't get to go to very often today but I only had an hour. I had uh, I had my hair appointment and then this Goodwill is is right in the little city by where I get my hair done. So I got my hair cut and then I rushed to this Goodwill, but then I only had about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes to spend in there. So I had to rush. And but I was bound and determined to get some men's things because I, I don't have hardly any men's jeans. And I've been getting a lot of women's clothes lately. So I do sell men's uh, pants and shorts and things. So. I'll show you what I have. It's still in the bags. I got three bags. And tomorrow is the uh, tag uh, change at my Goodwill. So I'll be going there as early in the morning as I can get there. So I wanted to get this stuff sorted out and uh, put in the piles where it should go uh, so that when I bring home my haul from tomorrow, I can do a uh, YouTube video and then I can start listing again. I got everything listed. I'm up to date on um, everything I've gotten last week, so I get to go shopping again. So let me show you what I got. Uh, I did get some women's things, and this happens to be one of them. <laughs> of course, the first thing I pick, I think, yes, this the way this Goodwill, it works different than my Goodwill. They have two tags. One's a half price tag which was blue. I only looked at these sale tags because this uh, this Goodwill's in a different county so the rules are different. So my coupons don't work at this Goodwill. So I had to only look at the things that were on sale. But the purple tags were $1.50. Everything with the purple tag costs $1.50. Doesn't matter what it says on the price tag. This had been marked $6. It was $1.50. So this is a pair of uh, capris, and they're Levi's in a women's size 10. So I picked those up right away for $1.50. How can you go wrong? You know, they're nicely used. And this isn't a spot. This is a piece of plastic bag that's uh, stuck on there. So that's the first thing I got. And here's another purple tag, $1.50. This is a pair of, I don't know exactly what these are. Uh, they have a, they're sort of workout uh, capris, short capris. They're in a, uh, like a coral color. And they are by Nike. Nike in a size medium, 8 to 10 women's. So I thought those were nice. And right next to them was this other pair, this color, uh, also $1.50, pair of capris in this it shows too pink on the screen but these are sort of their coral color they have ties at the legs and they're I uh, feel like they have some nylon in them I'm not sure they're uh, Ann Taylor loft <clears throat> loft by Ann Taylor and I can't see the fabric tag, but they don't feel like just cotton. They feel uh, somebody has cut the uh, fabric tag off, but you can't read it. Anyway, got that pair. And I saw this. This was Abercrombie and Fitch. Um, it's like a t shirt. Uh, a muscle t-shirt it says it was a dollar fifty has a purple tag and it's has an Indian this is heavily uh, heavily embroidered on here 
and it says A. Fitch Athletic. And this this is a, just a medium a gray. So I thought that was kind of different. I picked that up. Uh, here is a pair of I had never heard of this kind of jeans before, so I looked it up, and it was all right. This is a pair of men's. They're small. They're 30-30. Uh, that's pretty small. Uh, but they're a slim stretch, and they're by Decree. Decree. I've never seen these before. But they're uh, distressed, almost, almost destroyed, they call this. Uh, when they're almost holes, and um, they have these big uh, pockets, uh, flat pockets with buttons in the back. Always make sure your buttons are there when they're covered. <clears throat> but those are a pair of men's, men's slim jeans. And... One more thing in this bag is I found my son a pair of shorts. The couple I got him, I decided uh, against them. I'm going to put them on. Um, I'm going to list them, but I got him a good pair today. Uh, this is a pair of 42 shorts, men's shorts, $1.50. Just short, casual shorts. It's sort of an olive color. Shorts, they're pleated in the front. And here's a pair of golf shorts by PGA Tour. No, these aren't my son's. These are too big. These are 36. He takes a 32. But they're that uh, dry fit uh, material, that real uh, nice feeling uh, fabric. In a size, they're 100% polyester, though. They're not the dry fit, but they're all polyester. 36 men's golf shorts. And here's another pair. Now these were full price. These were $4 in a size 34. I don't think I looked this... I had never seen this tag before. Burnside, it's called. Burnside. Or Burn Ridge. No. Burn Ride. Burn Ride. You know, size 30, uh, 34. But they're a nice, they feel, they're sort of a cargo short. But they're a nice feeling. Uh, has a lot of polyester, I think, in here. I won't take time to look for them, but uh, has the flat pockets in the back. But I, uh, I have to look those up. I have a feeling they'll do pretty good. And here's a pair of cargo shorts in a uh, 36. Now here's the blue tag. That was half price. So these were Mark 6s, so, so these are were $3. And they're a pair of uh, like a charcoal gray. They're by Levi's. A little tag there. Uh, and they're uh, cargo type shorts. <coughs> I got them because they were Levi's. And here's a pair of these are men's seven for all mankind. 31, 34. Uh, I got these because of the brand, and they have the A pocket. It's uh the good one to get with uh seven jeans. Uh but I paid $6 for these, so that's sort of a lot. But they are men's, and they're sort of slim. Slim, and they're uh, because of the A pocket. 
that's uh, one of the better kinds to get from seven for all mankind. So that's why I paid. I figure I'm paying a dollar fifty for a whole lot of these things, so I could get one that's six dollars. <laughs> yeah, I sort of average out my prices. I count the number of things I get and see what. Now here's a nice golf shirt. This is by a PGA Tour in a navy blue medium uh, called Air Flux. This was half price. It was marked four, so this was two. This this is navy. Yeah, navy blue. If I put it in the light, it looks too bright. If I put it back here, it looks black. But it's a navy blue. And it has uh, the gray stripes on the sides. Really nice golf shirt. Uh, my, I, I, my son takes a large in shirt, so I don't think he'll be able to wear that. Uh, this was a purple tag, so this is $1.50. Lee Comfort waistband, a pair of women's shorts. It's nice shorts. And uh, size what? A size six. These are little ones. These would fit my daughter. She wants a pair of shorts to ask her. Uh, okay, here's a pair of uh, women's 18 Lee Slender Secret, half price, so these are $1.50. They're a pair of uh, Lee Slender Secret, size 18, flat pockets on the back. I still didn't get that many men's things, did I? But I got some anyway. Tomorrow I'm going to really concentrate on them. Uh, size 12 uh, women's relaxed fit. Uh, they were a dollar fifty. They have a stretch waistband. It's a dark wash. Women's shorts. This is a uh, this is a women's uh, workout uh, active wear has a bra uh, inside. It's Gold's Gym. It's a small. It's a dollar fifty. So how can you go wrong? <clears throat> I haven't come to my son's shirt shorts yet. Here's a shirt I got by I didn't look this one up either. It's by Sledge USA. It's a large, it was half price, so this was two dollars. It's the uh, sort of three short three quarter sleeve, but has a lot of bling there in the front. I like bling. <laughs> it's just a pretty shirt. <clears throat> and the last thing in the bag is the shorts I got my son. Size 32. And they're navy blue. And they're by Nike. Dry fit, dry or dry fit, whatever you want to call it. But it's a nice length because I called his wife Linda up. I said, "Go look at his favorite uh, his favorite golf shorts and measure the inseam." Because I had to know, you know, some guys are real particular about how short their shorts are or how long they are. So she she uh, said they're all nines and tens. So. Uh, that's what I got. So these will be good. They're in really good condition. 
and they just have one one little pleat. I, I think that'll be all right. I'm not. I didn't ask her about the pleats things. I have a pair of uh, Ben Hogan plaid shorts in his size, someplace in my eBay store. Uh, I don't know if he'd wear plaid or not. Now this is a guy that used to wear crazy pants when he golf. He had a pair of pants once cotton pants they were like just real full pants and they were like uh big spots like a cow his cow pants now you'd think if he'd wear cow pants <laughs> he'd wear some plaid shorts but maybe they're really out of you know style for old guys and he doesn't feel old yet <laughs> anyway those are for him i'll take those upstairs so that's what i got today and I'll uh, put those upstairs and get ready to photograph those things. Uh, my girlfriend gave me a whole lot of clothes that she was going to take to Goodwill. I went through and I, I kept about three quarters of them and have put them on. I have listed all of them that I kept, except for a couple uh, dressier things that I have to uh, measure. I took the photographs, but it's going to take a lot of measuring. My hair is, I got my hair cut today, but I took a shower when I got home. And the, uh, the hairspray, it's just sort of went away. So anyway, and I have no makeup on, so sorry. Uh, I will uh, be back tomorrow with a hopefully a really good haul for my goodwill. And uh, so I'll see you then. So bye.